Violin World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 728 No Quitting Yet. Valet strolled for the poorly lit recesses of Stormhoof Coliseum, the light of the arena gate forming a bright rectangle ahead. She hadn't checked the schedule since her fight last week and was basing this purely off memory. But if she was wrong and missed her fight, no biggie. After all, she was only here to formally surrender. She hadn't talked with her friends either. Harshwater's crazy restaurant idea had somehow proved even more successful than it first appeared, and the energy of finding ways to make more flights, increasing their customer throughput and doing better spread among her friends like infectious fire. Forget escaping Iron Ridge, saving the world or leading happy lives, it was the kind of goal normal pony set. It was something they could actually do, and she wasn't about to detract from that. She wasn't even about to talk about detracting from it. For her, the tournament ended here, and everything that came with it would be sealed in the past. Sunlight broke over her beret-covered mane, the tuxedoed guard at the entrance nodding her along. Valet stepped across, climbed a short few steps to the platform for the last time, and blinked at the yellow-maned bat pony waiting meekly for her. Senesei? Oh, hi, Senesei breathed, clearly apprehensive. Valet squinted. Wait, my opponent is you? Senesei blinked, startled out of her nervousness. You didn't even look at who you're fighting? Ah, uh, I mean, no. Valet folded her ears. Look, it doesn't matter. This is actually great because... No, wait. Senesei held out a hoof and took a breath, interrupting her. I know it's the worst etiquette to ask this, but I have to. You still have your golden regent, right? Valet popped a shimmering card out from her hat. Sure do. What's it to you? I know I can't beat you, Senesei admitted. I nearly got eliminated last round. If you didn't see me, I used a trick that won't work twice. I'm at my limit in this tournament, and no, I can't reach the end, but it's never been about winning. We knew I never stood a chance, but my sisters just need me to stay in as long as possible. Even one more week will make a difference, so if you volley, sat down and spread her hooves. I surrender! Senesee screwed up her face. What? No need for me to spare you, Valet twirled her card, getting up and pacing back towards the stairs. I'm done with this tournament. It's not helping me being here, so I'm done. I was gonna say that whether I was up against you or anyone else, but I sure I'm glad I get to do it for my friends. Wait, what? Senesei's ears fell as Valet stepped off the platform. You can't. Everyone is rooting for you too. Sure I can, Valet waved a hoof. Watch me. With a light puff of dust, she stepped onto the floor, and the match was over before it had begun. Senesee watched her with a trembling lip. Hey, get back here! That's not the attitude I expect from the mare I watched preparing to break into Stormhoof Keep! Valet's ears turned back. What did you say? Senesee hesitated and pulled out a golden flourish of her own. Spare! Can you do that? Valet suddenly whipped her head around and blinked. Bananas, I'm surrendering! I don't want to be spared! Save that for someone who needs it! I read the rules, Senesei sighed. And yes, I can. You can also just surrender again in a week's time. But I'll be mad at myself if I let you walk out on a chance to make this much of an impact on the world, and everyone else will be mad at me too. Spare! And you coming with me afterward to talk about it. Valet failed to change Senesei's mind. The entire hour after the fight was filled with shadow sneaking, murmurs of disappointed spectators who remembered Valet's earlier fights growing fainter as they slipped away from the Colosseum. After a long series of back passages, swimming under eaves and ducking down below bridges, they finally reached the alley where the sisters made their home, Senesei ushering Valet inside. Huh, 
Been a while since I've been here, Valet remarked, nodding at the paintings in the foyer, finally able to talk again, now that stealth wasn't a concern. So, really, Bo, like, are you sure you wanted to use that thing on me? I'm serious, I'll probably just surrender again next week. I got a talking to from some of my friends, and me fighting in this just isn't... Ow, hey! Sanase grabbed her ear, dragging her into the living room and dumping her down in front of Felicity's recliner, where the elder sister lay on her back with a wet rag on her forehead, looking half dead. She's trying to walk out on the tournament, Sanase declared. Yes, I believe something of the like came up in our last conversation, Felicity breathed up at the ceiling. Before Sanase could protest, Valet pushed her aside, standing over Felicity in concern. Yo, are you all right? Felicity's eyes wandered to her, and she smiled. Just a spell, darling. Had a taxing yet productive day on the job, as it were. I could get up now, except I'm rather enjoying this at this point. Oh, cool. And Valet sat back, relieved. You talked about her quitting? Meanwhile, Senesee's ears fell in disbelief. But what about everything? She could get a wish. She had the real shot at this. Well, I'm flattered you care so much for her sake, Felicity hummed. So, what's it to us, hmm? Senesee winced and didn't answer. I had to spare her with my regent. Am I missing something? The lady tilted her head. Felicity dragged herself into a sitting position. The feet tracks poorly along all of our senses, darling, she explained. As I recall, you've been rather intense about being in this tournament for the sake of your friends in the past, so an about face on your own resolve might be slightly painful. But it's perfectly all right, she gave a reassuring smile. The three of us are just somewhat more invested in your situation than your average mayor. Valet slowly nodded. You're still thinking about all that stuff with what you're going to do with your own lives if working for the Night Mother doesn't pan out? The whole thing we talked about in Mythvale, how I felt the same about my own work for Herman? You mean we are still thinking we might abandon all our work here towards getting our bodies fixed to join up with your friends and live life, come what will? Uh, Felicity rose from her chair, patting both Valet and Senesee on the head. Well... It occasionally crosses our minds, but let's save talk of the future for the future itself. Come, can I get you anything to drink? Ah, uh, sure. Valet followed along, throwing a glance at Senese. Oh, I gotta admit, I am curious what being in a tournament only one more week will get you. End of chapter 728